You have a good time last night, Ryan, in the streets? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what made you get out? Just cool, just getting know, out. Just in the mood. I don't know. You just randomly hit up and we had something going, huh? Yeah, good. That's why I said the Dorian. That's all. That's so happening. Y'all be going out to the club. Yeah, be shit going on. We be doing shit sometimes. Damn, good thing got hit up. Wills, get the fuck out of here. We have been what? stopped inviting you. Yeah, I know. That's why I said good thing got hit up. They talking about some damn like I feel like you like you trying to hint that you would have felt left out. That's crazy. Hey, I would have felt a little left out. Get the fuck out of here. What? Welcome back. It's the Arch Villains Podcast. We back another week. Today, you know what I'm saying? Just three of us again. One person out. He doing this doing this thing today. He had a little little something he had to do. You know what I'm saying? But I am Ryan, aka Stimmy Turner, aka Ryan with the hard R. And today is just uh me and your boy, Ray Clay. Boys. Well, I'm trying to introduce you though. Ray Clay. <laughs> it still gotta be in you, not on you. Pause. <laughs> what it do is your boy Will I am the foe, like a big Willie style. How let your boy. Hey, do you ever listen Man, to Big Willie style? Right? No. Why? Straight album. Yeah, no, I'm good. Dude, straight. Dude, yeah, I'm straight talented, good. I, dude was a talented. Dude, the album was straight good. I mean, he's kind of corny because he don't curse, but he's talented. I mean, I've never said that it wasn't that it was bad. I just don't listen to it. You said, why would I? So that that yeah, makes you I? think that it's bad. Why wouldn't you then? Straight had that album. Bought it. The CD. We know. I don't think you even named yourself that. Hmm? Like, where you? Where else would Big Willie style come from? Yeah, but I mean, that don't mean I bought it. I had it. Yeah, I would think if you named yourself. We you knew you heard it, though. I mean, of course. Yeah. Shout but out. no, I don't go and listen to it now. That ain't in my rotation. I ain't listened to it probably like a couple years. I know I went back to it one day just because I was like, damn, I ain't never heard. Well, I had went back to his old shit, his greatest hits. He got like greatest hits. <laughs> he got he got a couple songs on there. But Dude got a greatest hits. Yeah. I, I did go back and listen to um, Bow Wow. But uh, what was it? Big, but where are the dog? I don't know. I'm not going back to that. Yeah, yeah, I, I did go back and listen to that. Too old to listen to that shit. Hmm? I said, I'm too old to listen to that shit. I'm cool. You listen after Drake said what he said? No. no what did like, Drake say? Like a couple weeks ago. What exactly he did he say? I have no idea. At least shot out Bow Wow. Y'all ain't hear it? What do you mean like, subliminally? I, I thought he, he said. Subliminally. I thought he said Bow Wow. I thought he said Weezy. He didn't say his. He well, called him Wizzle or something. Weezy. Bow Wow yeah, was right there. Oh, I didn't see that part. Oh, yeah, Bow Wow was right there. They was together. What was they doing? Bow just kicking it. Yeah, it seemed like. I mean, Drake, you, we can't act like Bow Wow like paved the way. <laughs> Bow Wow paved the way, son. No, nah, we're about to plan. I don't know why they were together. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I mean, Bow Wow's a legend. What did that mean? But why are they together? Legends hang out together. Nigga, you just asked why was they together? I what was you, they doing? I thought you had a deep reason, like they might have been working on a song or shooting something. <laughs> no. But, but if they don't have nothing, then I'm not surprised. Nah, Drake just put out a video uh, about the saying congrats, like thank you to the people for making me one, two, and three. And he was like, you know, I had to celebrate with Bow Weezy. He probably was just with Bow Wow. That's all the reason he gave it up to him. Nah, nigga flew him out. Nah, he ain't fly Weezy mm-hmm. out. Where would you like Drake fly you out? Depending on for what? Depending. I mean, not, I'm not saying to like, you know, gay shit, Will. <laughs> I'm saying, like, would you like, would you let nigga fly you out, Drake? He said, yeah, nigga <laughs> fly you out, Drake. <laughs> he tried to. <laughs> Man. Wait, what, what you flying me out Like, for? if he was, like, hold on. <laughs> if it's just a hangout, no. Like, I don't just is hang he, with you. Is he sending... No, the, we, I'm no, saying, no for sending, sure, no gay shit. Is he sending the plane, or is he, like, buying me a ticket? Hey, what's your what's your email? How you spell your name? I'm about to get you a ticket. <laughs> nah, bro. I'll, so buy you the, tell Drake, I'll buy the ticket. So you tell Drake, no. Nah. What if you ain't got no money that week? He, hey, come on, want you to come to All-Star. And it's, you just low. Nah, you ain't got it. I tell him like Drake, you got to send the plane, bro. He can't send the plane. I, it's getting worked on right now. I just buy you a ticket. Just send me a. Now if we if we you... chilling at All Star, I probably would go. If we Man. just finna be out doing something, but don't fly me out to, to play video games or something. So you would miss opportunity to, to play. 
Yeah, I mean, Ray was the type of nigga that would take the date with Drake over the fifty thousand dollars or some shit. I no, mean, no, nah, but I'm saying if, you got to think being with Drake. If we was playing video games, just kids discussing business as we was playing, that'd be different. But I'm not just it, Drake if, is the biggest artist. Period. Right now, right, probably. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking of all the endless possibilities of a weekend with him, of who you gonna meet, and you can. Next thing you know, now you you cool with but no, nigga, forty or whoever. Find me out though. <laughs> Like you could at least bring the jet. This is not me advocating and said I would get fired out. I just want to play with Will to get so his you would pause. So you would? I would tell I would tell him just to cash at me the bread. You ain't gotta <laughs> physically <laughs> cash <laughs> at me the bread. That's order. even worse. Don't is cash at me no money, bro, to buy something. But that's why I would just buy want to put in some work. No, nah, but because because I didn't been in that situation. I've never flew a girl out, but I done had a girl. How you spell your name and what's your email address? Like, I didn't been flew out before that. What's your email address? And I feel like a little, I mean, it's a girl, so I'm cool because I, I had bread. Yeah, it, was like, different. it wasn't like I couldn't afford it. I was just accepting her offer. But it felt like, you know saying? You feel like a little hoe and shit. Yeah, I that's didn't. different. Well, I, don't, I ain't never had nobody fly me out, but so you, I, don't, I wouldn't feel like a hoe. Nah, I didn't feel like a hoe because I had it. I felt like a pimp because I had nigga it. Drake you know what if I didn't have it, I would feel like a hoe because it's like, damn, I can't afford my own ticket. But if it's Drake, Nah, man, he gotta send the Boeing, man. I ain't got no problem with uh nobody you doing gotta anything. Gotta send that big me. blue jet, man. That's but that's that's what it comes down to. I would probably feel more like a hoe if you sent the jet. But that's what it comes nah, down man. to. It's a pride thing. Yeah. It, I'm not saying no gay shit. I'm not. That's not. It ain't got anything to do with gay. No, but I'm saying for the hypothetical for Will. That's what I'm saying. It comes down to a I ain't pride about to thing. Be on no commercial would you flight. A nigga, would you let a nigga fly you out? But people so don't. You know, let us fly. If you okay. on a commercial flight, don't nobody know why you there. But if you on a jet, if you on Drake's jet, people know who sent the okay, jet. Okay, so here we go. Why you on it, motherfucker? I was talking to I was talking to somebody last night who about to get married soon. And he was talking about somebody who gonna be uh doing some work hosting at the reception. So then we were like, Well shit, you better tell that nigga and start saving now. So then what if he ain't got the bread, he trying and you got your you want your nigga to come to your wedding? You gonna fly him out? Oh, that's different, yeah. I mean yeah. if, so if how's I want it different to be the if, Dra- if it's Drake. Yeah, because you but you flying you you being flown out with a task. That's why I said the only reason it'd be not different really a to task, me. It's really because you want him there. Like anybody and can that's do. That's my nigga. Do. And, and that's then, my yeah, nigga. Nate, I'm that's saying cool. you gonna be. I'm soon Bow Wow and Bow Wow and Drake probably. That's his nigga. So did, you did, over talking so about did the Drake fly Bow Wow? Out? That's no, what we was making. No, it like a joke. no, I wasn't making it like that. I'm just saying, like, why are they hanging out together? But you was joking, like, but what I'm, yeah. Drake probably I flew see, them out. I, but why is yeah, it so far fetched that Drake and Bow Wow hanging out? But I'm talking about, I'm talking about with me though. So if I Drake don't was know your that friend, you wouldn't let him fly you out. I no. guess if you're a friend, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah if it's my, if friend, my friend, he can definitely yeah, it's fly. Different. Like so you don't know that. But you and Drake met at a concert. Concert here. Y'all just some randomly met, but y'all was kicked it. Like, okay, you a real nigga? I fuck with you. Hey, come to Toronto. So then the following month or whatever, hey, Will, I hit you up. My boy, you want to come to Toronto? It's, I can't. I ain't got it this week. Blah, blah, blah. See, I would be saving up until then. Man, you don't know when he going to hit you up. You don't know when Drake going to hit you up to hang out. Dude got a rainy Drake. Dude got a rainy Drake phone. Right. Like, <laughs> that's the fucking I name would, of this I would make rainy sure, Drake I would fun. make sure I got the bread. Well, you can't do that. You randomly you was up and went to a concert, happened to run into him what backstage. I'm saying, though, you said a month later. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying you don't know when he's gonna hit you up. Maybe it's not for All Star. Maybe it's just for a random weekend. Maybe it's for. Well, I'm just giving the timetable. You said a month later. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm saying it happens to. I'm not. I didn't. Drake didn't say he's gonna hit you up a month later. It just happens to be a month later. Yeah, that's randomly. What that's what I'm saying. I'll be so you've been saving you, ever since you meet Drake. You, you just gonna start saving for the next occasion. Dude, I didn't meet Drake. Let me start saving right. now. I'm just saying in case. though, just in case, <laughs> nigga. When y'all plan a trip, don't y'all start saving from when you start uh, yeah, from yeah, when yeah. you talk about it? No, it wasn't that type of situation. He was. I'm gonna get you number. I'm gonna fuck with you. Uh, come to Toronto sometime. Yeah. So then you just gonna start. <laughs> nigga, Toronto got a lot of bad bitches. Like, I'm nigga, I'm about to go to Toronto. Yeah, I mean, I probably couldn't go and do nothing, but hey, you if I was as single, you're not a fella. I'm just saying it about about the bitch stuff. <laughs> nigga, if right. I was single, I mean, until you married. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm not single, bro. But, j- but right. Toronto do got some bad bitches stuff. How you know that? Shit, I be seeing them uh on on, on IG. I'm not questioning you like you're wrong. I'm just questioning you like because I don't know what Toronto got. Uh. A lot of Ethiopians. A lot of Eritreans. I don't even think Atlanta got no bad bitches no more. A lot of Caribbean people being uh Atlanta all Toronto. So it'd be Melissa Ford. 
She from China? Mm-hmm. Mm. She okay. Nigga, well now, yeah, but she was fire. She was, she was cool back King then. Mac, she was crazy. Who else from Toronto? Drake baby mom? I don't know how she she not cute though. The little white she chick. She is cute. The white chick? She nice. I don't think so. She she do karate and shit. That doesn't have to be nothing. <laughs> that is attractive to me. <laughs> the porn star? She not even a porn star. She did one like oily titty video. Oh. I don't even see how she considered a porn <laughs> Let me look star. Her up. Dude said one she didn't fuck nobody in video. porn. She just did like oily titties. And was rubbing them. She did what they do on OnlyFans. She 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 basically did a OnlyFans. Nah, they just, be going in on OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah, but you know you know the ones that's not. Though. I don't pay. I just see them. On, I just thankfully see the people who screen recorded it on uh, Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, they do be doing it on yeah, Twitter. Probably. My Twitter <laughs> filthy. Said, My Twitter is filthy, bro. Yeah, I can't. I can't get on Twitter at work. That, oh, thanks, I do. Thankfully. I ain't supposed to, but I do. I just mama, always make sure nobody walks. His baby mama ugly as hell. She is not ugly, bro. She not ugly. Right there? She look like mama. Nigga, she, but she not ugly to me. She don't look cute. She fine to me. She look like Drake could have done way better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, he yeah, probably nigga. Could. She look good to me. Drake pro- Drake probably thought that, like, like damn. She might she might, like she might, she might, really be a good woman, because ain't no way that yeah. that's who he, who he landed with. I don't know, Hold bro. On, she she nice to me. Like he, it might be a connection. Like she might be like like he like a good baby mama. Like she might be a good mother. Like you could tell. Like no, every have you seen her body? Need to be have you seen her body? Child. Hold on, have you seen her body? Are you no. saying Drake like nigga. chose her? I mean, like, nigga, what you, like what you trying to say? What's her name? Nigga, Drake sure probably because I follow like on a IG. One night thing. But I'm saying, how, how did, Drake is 33. It's just like Ryan. What's me and Ryan, we I don't know. I tried Drake baby mama. Sophie Bordeaux. Sophie Brasso. I don't know. That's what it say. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why he ain't pull out. Me and Will ain't never pulled out of. I mean, never got a chick. Yeah, I probably have pulled now. out. But I'm saying though, y'all not Drake, right? So Drake, if Drake is our age, what I'm saying is that wasn't no mistake. I don't think that. Yes, it would. I mean, I'm not this saying not like a Will like that. So you told me he like, you out, nigga. Drake didn't play in that baby. He he ain't pull you out don't though. Think so? He ain't pull out. Opportunities that he could. He didn't pull out on purpose. He might have a plan to be. He ain't pull out on purpose. Right. Like, I think but he I'm did it on no, purpose. How many, he probably was fucking her the same way he fucked so many other bitches. <laughs> so many other got women. Wag. So I don't women. like white bodies like that because they almost guaranteed to be fake. <laughs> but hers not fake. She an athlete. Nigga, that shit you showed me ain't got shit to do with an athlete. That last one in a red dress. That's an athlete body. She tall. But, uh, but she tall, too. She like but speaking of but speaking of like baby mamas and shit, I'm and gonna, even I'm if it play is fake, so and get y'all opinion. I see a lot of fake news. We was done with this topic. I seen the fake ass last <laughs> night. That was nice. That's her Instagram. Yeah, that's crazy. You straight fuck somebody and get a verified account. She probably was already verified. Let me see her titties. I think Drake did that shit on purpose. Yeah, he, nah, he knocked her down. She regular. She wasn't really like popping. She has to, like she has to be regular and something going for because he could have he's fucked plenty other bad bitches. Like you could he could have made Serena baby mama or anybody like he didn't fuck with. That's who you pick. She probably is a good woman or something. Nigga, who says that he picked her? Because he didn't done this whole time. You think he's slipping up? Niggas like that ain't. Drake ain't plenty of this niggas. Ain't, this ain't too shiesty out here with seven kids. Plenty of niggas. This slip girl don't up. do nothing but art, bro. Look, yeah, but I don't think Drake slipped up art, with her. Bro. That's why I just don't think he slipped up with her. Uh, yeah, we have I no do. way of knowing. I do. It. I think that's why he was hiding it. I think he like her because he said he was hiding because you had your son for yeah, the world. Yeah, he say whatever he want to. Dude, dude, <laughs> dude wants to talk about his friend. He get fooled out. Nah, you look you how should've... that motherfucker move, no, bro. I'm just saying no, like if just that, plenty, that don't mean like, it's not fake though. That's a I'm wagon though. I don't care if it's fake. It ain't out the ordinary for a nigga to just slip up and. Get a girl. No, nah, it's not out the ordinary, but a nigga at you at thirty three. Man, you y- y'all be nothing. If, nigga, niggas be nothing in bitches on purpose, bro. That shit ain't no slip he a up. Rapper, you can pull out a bitch. You bro. can pull out right. That's what I'm that's saying. A, that's Who bullshit. says that he didn't pull out? He didn't. He didn't. We know he didn't. Will. How do you know that? Because she had right. a baby. Because he pregnant. She had a baby. So y'all y'all don't think no women that got pregnant by a nigga that pulled. I'm out. just going off my experience. I ain't never you got mean a chick like pregnant. Like pre shit. I mean, I'm just asking. I never got a chick Y'all pregnant don't from pre-com. Any woman that got pregnant by a nigga, I've never got out. nobody pregnant. Yeah, I ain't pre- never. Pre-com. I ain't never. So I'm sure I'm somebody up. has. Hey, I, I don't the know. The chances. I mean, you can get pregnant off pre cum but the chances are it's very slim. Unless very you, slim. It's very slim. And it's I'm possible. Not, and I'm not. And I guess maybe y'all are saying that he did it on purpose, like 
Yeah, maybe I'm not he saying he nutted nut, in her on maybe, purpose. I'm about to say maybe he nutted in her on purpose. Yeah. Well, I don't I'm think, just saying, I don't look, think look, he look, look. went into it. You can nut in a bitch, and like, that don't mean yeah, she's going to I think I'm about get... to have a baby with no, this No, 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 because it's not guaranteed to have a baby. I'm not saying he necessarily planned the baby. I'm saying he was comfortable nutting her, thinking that she could be an okay mother. Like how many times you yeah. fuck somebody? Right. How many times you didn't fuck somebody? And you know for sure she should not be the mother of your child. Nigga. You're gonna take precautions that you n- pull out with a condom. I'm not doubt, even gonna I doubt, Now if she's somewhat I doubt responsible. Drake even thought about it that far. Why wouldn't he? Let's I mean, just I, see. I, I just doubt he did. Okay, Look, I she an artist. I'm Ray, sure there's somebody he had a he had a real of connection course, with. Like, if he was with her and like planned it, yeah, that that's his seed. He would think about that. But what I'm saying, he got I don't more to think, lose than regular people. So that would yeah. think he's only he's the one who should think like that. Yeah, but uh, that's a lot of rappers. No, I'm not saying a lot of rappers. Drake ain't a lot of rappers. But We're not talking I'm, about nigga like I'm like saying, nigga like money I'm just back. No, kids. I'm just saying no niggas that that have the opportunity and fuck a lot of women. I don't think she had no every body night. Work. Well, not a lot of women every night. But her fuck. booty it ain't perked up enough to be like. But you know body. what I mean. Her body done. The point of what I'm saying is to, to for somebody who can have just about any woman in the world, and that's who you picked, it wasn't a mistake. That's all I'm saying. That's but the, you saying she looked better than probably ninety percent of the women though. Ninety, Ron? Come on, bro. It's not like a lot saying, of bad. Be- like saying, I'm talking about ninety. She ain't. I mean, she don't look. Nigga, I didn't like see girls bad, in St. Louis that look that good. We didn't talk about bad me. bitches though. I like know girls in St. Louis. People be sleeping. This girl's at Marquita look better than her. It's yes, but St. Louis got a lot of bad bitches though. True. People be hating people on, do St. Be St. Louis. on St. Louis. St. Louis be having Are y'all talking about bad Drake ass baby bitches. Mama? Yeah, right. Like, yeah, Drake baby mama like don't look that good to me. Thank but that's you. that's to y'all, bro. She, she, she does me. She got like a strong chin. She's strong as fuck. I also don't think uh money bag Drake baby mama fire chick cute, but everybody. But see, I think she fire without makeup. Have you seen her without makeup? Nah. She look hella good. Everybody, I think she's ugly. I she's think, not ugly at all. I think Drake Baby Mama probably look better than her. I would take Drake Baby Mama over her. So if Drake did plan it, but she didn't want it. If she who, didn't want it, she wouldn't have had it. Drake? That's a, you I'm guarantee just, that have to asking, work. I'm just I don't. asking. Huh? Just asking. <laughs> just if she didn't What's want it. What's your hypothetical? Go ahead. Here, I just want to play y'all or something. Oh, this is, this is on the topic? Yeah, that's what I was trying to go into, but you wanted to stay on Drake. Can you can you put the condom on, please? I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bad purpose for this topic. I can already tell you. Nobody wearing in condoms. In today's society, man, as a young, that's gonna be a so bad let's person. get started. Um, no, I'm opposite. Today's question oh. is: Whose responsibility <laughs> is it when a woman gets pregnant, the man or the woman? Whose responsibility? What do you mean? Who's Which responsibility? Depends on <laughs> whose responsibility? Is it when a woman gets two people? Pregnant? Both. 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 That's what every man says. Yeah. Depends on what. I feel like if I tell you I don't want to be pregnant <laughs> because I can't afford, you know, birth control or whatnot, and you still do what you want to do, you're going to be a single father. There's no <laughs> way a woman. <laughs> there's no way a That's woman. That's like the only girl in the world who think like that. Pregnant, you be a there, single father. Uh, I will have a baby, woman. and I will just drop it at your house. But listen, and I will just leave. Hold on. Meaning I wouldn't that be mad at you. Fuck it. We can play it back. I just yeah. No, I just no, wanted you to hear the last part. That there's she said. no way a woman who doesn't want to be a mother doesn't know that the nigga that's not using a condom. Because if you truly do not want to be a mother, you should be using a condom. Oh, they get on that. Yeah, if you truly, if you adamant, which I've been adamant my whole life that I don't want a child before I'm married, I've done every precaution to not have a child out, besides man. being absent, absent. The yeah. time I don't pull out, that's when I had a baby. And you was relaxed to you was relaxed to not pull out because you could see the person being the mother of your child. I ain't. I mean, I ain't gonna say that, but I just didn't pull out that time. I but didn't you care. Know the, but you know the circumstances. So I knew. I knew time was, was ticking. Good, you was good with. The, I knew time was ticking. Was so I'm good, like, look, I don't give a fuck no more. Huh? You was gonna be good with. Yeah, the I was. I, I, mean, I, mean, I ain't mind. I ain't, yeah, I mean, I knew. Because you didn't fuck other women that you'd be like, hell no, I wouldn't want this girl to be. a I mean, I didn't fuck child. bitches who would been good mama. I'm just like, nah, I'm cool. No, but you fuck something that you know you wouldn't want to. Oh yeah, yeah. And the ones I definitely pulled out. Right, that's what I'm saying. You see, it's a difference in being ready to have a baby and then making a conscious decision of having a baby with this woman. No, that's what I'm saying with Drake. I'm saying just like what Ron said, he explained the person. It wasn't that he was planning to have the baby, but this person he knew that the if there's if the consequence was a baby with this person, he would have been cool with it. Yeah, see, I think I think Drake would have been cool with like having a baby with anybody. Oh, not with anybody. Come on, anybody will. 
Well, for one, Drake might be cool to have a baby in because I don't know if Drake is fucking anybody worth not having see, a baby I don't with. see her. Don't, Maybe man. he is. I don't know. I don't know, bro. You know what they say? You shouldn't have sex with somebody you can't see the mother of your child. But we've all not lived by that. But what do y'all think of that? That there was a woman that said that all the men in that video said that they feel like it would be both of their responsibility. But I, I, oh wait, wait, wait! Are you saying after to be a parent? Are you saying to, to be a parent to raise the child? Oh, That's I thought you were saying about. whose responsibility is it? Like making a child? Nah. No, who responsibility is the baby's? That's why she said in the end that. If she had the baby, she would just take it to your crib. And nah, it's it responsible. It's responsible to both if y'all both want. But if not, it's responsible to the person who don't who wants a child. Yeah, because even even like even nah, like me and Mo talk about that. Just give it to me because it's I certain take, people. I yeah, me too. Baby. It's but certain I women. I, I know gonna, right now. I ain't gonna say who it is. I mean, I know women that they get they they get divorced and they give the child to the dad because they don't want the child. Oh, you know people. Yeah, like that's that? wild. Yeah. That's wild to me. Why? I mean, it's just wild. Because you assuming every mom w- m- wants to be a mother? I mean, no, I don't assume it. It just it's just wild to me. But how is it Man, wild? Look, if you don't, Drake, it's just wild Drake to me was talking to this bitch. Don't want a child. Drake, look, Drake. Oh, I mean, parent. Well, I, yeah, I mean, but some people like even Mo was like she she don't really want kids. She want kids because I want kids. But if I never say I want a kid, she wouldn't be trying to have kids. Man, I, mean, yeah, I but, think Drake. But, but you saying it change but after the baby me, here? Exactly. If, to me, even if I yeah, did Yeah, we want saying kids, that, but we don't have no baby. Once, <laughs> Earl Week. What? Earl Week. I think Drake wanted to have his baby with her. Uh, Shannon, Earl Shannon. Week. I think Drake. I ain't gonna lie, Shannon got it made. She ain't got the pressure. She can I think, still pull up. I think Drake wanted the baby with her. That's what I'm saying. It's something about her. It has to be. Because she ugly. <laughs> She straight not ugly, bro. Y'all now niggas taste is crazy to me. But she ain't, I ain't saying she's not ugly at all. I should not say she was ugly. Stuff ugly. About the liquor store. But you but you said that she would look better than ninety yeah, percent of that's cause ninety percent of bitches look the same to me. Mm, Especially on IG. Is she white? I don't know. She ugly if she white. I don't know. Right. Sorry, so you that's saying. why I say that's why you, you no, come from I can, different. I can, now I can, I can pick now if she Jewish, I would see Drake being like, yeah. Oh, because it strong on his shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, mean, I, I could. I think it's attractive white women out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I could. Make she that. looked better than most of them. Mm, I could probably. I could. I, I could. But I don't think none of us got the same taste in white women either. Because I like dark hair white women. I don't, I don't have really taste in white women, but I'm sure I've seen more attractive white women. I than think we like blind bitches more. What is J Lo? Yeah, Ryan, know everything that I've, that's wrong about me. <laughs> I figured it was. And when we talk about white bitches, hey, we blind bitches. The video, mm-hmm. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. What what is yeah. what is J Lo? She not white, is she? No, she's Puerto Rican. What do you think some attractive white women? What's what's Christina Aguilera? She white. She was attractive. Yeah, she nice. But also that's different because we was growing up, so it was a different time. Attraction back then was different because back then niggas probably thought Britney Spears was attractive and she trash. I was until I got older. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying. When you get older, you that, that what you thought back then. But ain't then the same. she did get trash though. No, like, she was she, trash. Yeah, but even looking when back, you go back when you go back to you drive me crazy. Yeah, she, she was still, trash she, then. Yeah, she was not trash, but we thought she was cute, but she mm-hmm. was not. She when you trash. go back to yeah, that's a perfect. So, like, to me, she was so, right back then. She was, but when you like you said, when you go like back, nigga, when I was she, a kid, I used to have a, a a big the biggest crush on Tori Spelling. She's trash, trash. How did you have a nigga? I don't know. Oh, Aaron's daughter. No, I think nine hundred two one zero or whatever Tori Spelling was on. Nigga, you know who her dad is? The Hollywood producer Aaron Spelling, who made the show. Who the fuck? No, I don't know who Aaron. He Spelling. the biggest nigga in Hollywood. I That's know who how Tori is. I know the, the upfront face. I don't know. He the was then. Back then, yeah. back then he was. He was like he was like he was like the uh like the uh uh who the who was the dude start with the S to make all the movies Spielberg of yeah. TV. Oh okay. Yeah, he was like. No, I didn't know who Spelling was. <laughs> Spielberg of TV. Maybe that's a, that's what I think about it. He was like the Quentin Tarantino of TV. Mm. The Quentin Tarantino of TV. He was just saying that the the what we put Quentin now. That's Perfect. what Spelling was it. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just, well, I'm, but anyway, perfect, like you said, when you go back and look, mm. she trash. Yeah, she real trash. Done by the end, Dory. Real trash, my nigga. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I don't know what I was on, but I just, I don't know. I, I like dark hair, thick white women, bro. That, that's, I mean, I think um, any black really dude don't have like a, a thick white woman just because it's close no to taste. black. I, I don't, blind, I got a, dark. I, I got a specific brunette. taste in women. I mean, Red white head, women. Gender. I mean, ginger. I don't think they're supposed to be called gingers. 
They call themselves Jews. Yeah, they call yeah we call ourselves niggas. Oh, okay. That's a good point there. I don't think you're supposed to call But other people call us. We're redhead. Other people call us niggas. Carrot tops. But they, I ain't never seen anybody like say anything okay, like continue. against. Like when that. we get, but polite, I like red. I, when, I, really, when somebody it's, call it, I'm, I, I spoke against. To me, why why do we call redheads gingers anyway? Uh, I don't Something know. they came up with. Uh, I just call them red, 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 redheads, bro. Redheads and dark hair. That's what I like. Is when one is white, bro. That's what mostly attract me. So. I just like what I like. Yeah, you probably that's when it comes to white women. I got a preference, so black women, Asians. I got a preference. It just I don't know when I see it, I like it. Speaking of Asians, some some blind bitches be bad, but most of them be naturally dark hair. What about the ones that be at the massage parlors? What about them? I was using as a transition, but um, you ain't got to acknowledge it. Just just tell them what it's about. A transition into what? Look at this shit happened at the massage parlor. Oh, the shootings. Them Asians be them Asian oh. bitches be trash. But I was going to Asians yeah, and like the peace. massage. Rest in peace. I was asking like I was asking like because it ain't that many. I don't think it's many attractive Asian women that I've seen that fit to what I like. Um, I can show you one right now. You, <laughs> her, now her body fake. No, it's one from the. It's one from. It's one that was a. Uh, she was a TV. She was like a action actress. I can't think of her Lucy name. Lucy Lou. Maybe <laughs> no. Nah. That's who we talking about. Maybe it might be Lucy Liu. From Charlie's Angels? I don't remember where she... Maybe. Probably. I mean, um... That was in, um... Uh, that's like the only... A, um... That's like uh, the only, uh... Famous Asian actress, ain't it? No. Not Wild Bill. What's uh, the name of that movie? What Kill about Bill? Lana Rhodes? Uh, um, the girl from X-Men? Lana Rhodes. Nigga, you know you, you lost me at X-Men. She a porn star. No, she not. Yeah, she is. Lana Condor, I mean. <laughs> Lana Rose Fire, too. That's that's the type She's not bad looking. Know, I don't know who that is. You do. She not bad Who's looking. No, nah, Lucy Lou Fire. Lucy Lou. Yeah. But I'm talking about Lana Condor. Yeah, you who do. You know who it is. Who is it? She was uh, she was Jubilee. All right. But going back to the Asian the, the, at the uh massage parlor. She got some head, she got some some fat ass titties. What? Lana Condor. One, the one Asian? It was six six out of the two people that passed away were Asian, so all the Asian all the Asian people is protesting and mad because um, yeah. they saying it's a hate crime. But apparently he's not getting charged with a hate crime, which I disagree. I don't know how you can prove that because um, he's saying he didn't kill him because they was Asian. He's saying he killed him. Just keep going. Oh, she yeah, she cute. Her body fake, but I mean, where she at? She I don't know. Uh, yeah, she cute. Do it matter if it's a hate crime or not? Yeah, because that's a federal crime and it's a bigger, it's a different charge. Yeah, whoever, hate crimes is investigated by the FBI. Is this a white dude who did this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, don't, they caught him, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, but if he don't so get then, charged the for point, the right shit, why, why do it matter if it's investigated federally or? Yeah, because it's different in federal prison. Because if, if they try to feds get... don't really, it's, it's just a different in the penal system. And I think also, I think hate crime is respect for the for the dead, like. It, like acknowledge that that nigga killed me because I was a nigga. Like it's, I think it's kind of respect, but it's also, um, I, I to answer your question, I don't know what is better, but I think to give it the designation of what it is. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I think. What? I'm glad they got him, but if it's a hate crime, he need to be charged for that. Right. Because. But they saying it's not. That's bullshit. Right. And that's why he the targeted is mad. Them. Right. But they're saying. When he, when they when they questioned him, because of course he lived, when they questioned him, he said, "I didn't kill him because they was Asians. I killed him because they was temptation. I'm addicted to sex." But are are they was they fucking at them massage parlors? Probably. From what I hear, they all somebody told me they all underground what, uh, sex places. Somebody in Atlanta said, was like, "If you, you know, you know." Six of them. Six of the six, six of the eight. Six of the eight. Sorry. Was Asian. Yeah. So the other two wasn't. Correct. But they might have been like casualties. One was a man. I think he was in a way, and I don't know what the other person was. Because so there's women, a lot of women. He targeted Asians, bro. That's what it seems like. But nobody because, got that for a fact, though. But so, he just so, got it. I mean, if if you want to go off that, but if you going by asking him, he went to all the Asian. Uh, I mean, I'm massage not going parlors. off by asking him. I mean, he gave what he said. I mean, most people that do shit like that usually, like I'm not gonna say leave it's a, a target. manifesto. It's a target, but. 
they would they would come up to it like, yeah, that's what that's what not I Not if you're not if you're a coward and you know that that's a difference in a different type of crime, different type of time. I mean, hate crime is like his lawyer probably told him, look, say this. Yeah, you're right. Hate yeah. crime is like you don't want to get a hate crime. That's but worse than I'm a saying, regular. Most murder. of the people that do that type of shit, they they want to. They you like, seen his yeah. pictures? He look like a little bitch. He ain't gonna nigga, so do Dylan look like Bruce. a little bitch. Yeah. Yeah, they uh Yeah, but Dylan Roof was, was kind of obvious. Cause... And that's probably why the Asians are protesting. But that's what but that's what I'm saying though. This it's not as obvious. I'm just playing devil's advocate. It is know, out, yeah. it is yeah. obvious though, but go ahead. That I mean, maybe maybe it wasn't a hate crime. But, but I'm just who's a, it's fucked up the who's to the side cuz like was it did you do it cuz it's Asian? He'd be like, "No, nah. I'd be like, "Oh, it's not a hate crime." Like that's fucked up. Yeah, but that's why I was asking what's the difference? Like what would be the difference? Like is it a difference? I, it's, I think it's way limp? worse when it's a hate yeah. crime. Know, huh? You get is a different charge. Yeah, limp? it's a different. Like that's what I'm saying. It's, you go to federal prison versus state penitentiary. Because like, I said hate crimes is is only investigated by. It'll FBI. be looked at as a terrorist act. I think like yeah, it's, it's 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 more severe. I don't know how, but in terms of the judicial system, it's way worse. That's why the FBI investigated. It won't be looked at as just murder. Right. It'll be looked at as like a terrorist. Right. Type of Terroristic. Yeah. So, but but it also on that same topic, he he was targeting them, bro. Is I I I feel for the black people that's um standing for it, and I'm not telling you to not. We shouldn't stand for it, Here but no. Nah, but I'm just saying. Pe- I saw this tape. What? What was what you it? about to say? No, nah, we be we be. We be standing for people who don't stand for us. That's all. I'm not saying don't stand for them, but when when they were trying to kick niggas out when it was a China virus and shit like that, I mean, no, they don't be fighting for us because I straight seen a lot of black people posting. A lot of, and it had been a lot of black people. Asian getting lives matter and shit like that. Like it was, it was. It's a lot of black people that get profiled inside them nail shops. And yeah, shit they, too. they be they don't be fucking with us. Like, but I mean, I'm not. But, uh, right is right, but you know, I, I don't. I ain't. I, I, it's hard for me to back up somebody who don't back me. Me personally, I I'm not protesting for black people. So my thing is damn sure you protesting Asian people. They they don't. My fuck only with us. point is that's 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 a hate. That's a, it. Come on, bro. Asians don't fuck with us. You can't look at this situation and not think it's a hate crime, bro. I don't give a fuck. He he probably accidentally shot somebody that was that was just. Actually, actually, the other person was a Mexican. Well, but, I don't know if he died. But he went to two or three. The Mexican got shot because he was walking past the building to go cash his check. Like how and we he got know, shot. like what? If, like, it was what three if, different, like, uh, was, three different, three different Asian parts. Like what if these was parlors? Like he frequent, and like and like he was. They like, still Asian, right? It don't matter if he, if he frequent freak with them. But I mean, it wouldn't matter if he had a reason if he knew. Him. Like, I don't know if he frequent. I've read a few articles. I don't. It, it just said. He targeted those places because he has addiction to sex, and he saw those as 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 pushing his temptation. So like, them, not, them the only places he saw temptation in the, in a, in a massage parlor that he didn't have to go get. Well, he, he can't probably, go to a, he, he can't go to a strip club because they for, he could have went to down. massage that's anyway. Why t- that's why I'm telling y'all if he said that because he probably kept going to him. And he was like, "I need to get this shit out." Like, no, that's probably what happened. He could have went to massage anyway. Yeah, I don't know if they got one that light at all. Bunch of white motherfuckers. Yeah, they probably got think, the, they got a bunch. Think, of, I don't think they do that. Though, I'm man. sure it's a bunch of a bunch of different black massage places he could have went to. He probably would have targeted them. But there was probably the ones that he went to though. He went to the, the Asian spots. That she was called Asian Spa Market. With <laughs> one of them was like had Asian in the name or something. It was three, <laughs> so it was kind of like they got they got Asian Asian. Uh, po- politicians like speaking out, and then who cares if it wasn't a hate crime? Get it anyway, because why you kill all these Asian people? <laughs> it's an apparent hate crime, <laughs> even if it ain't. It's apparent, Dude, so they, give it to them anyway. If it wasn't, do it anyway. Get that nigga. Because had it been one of us, they would have did it. <laughs> they would have did what? Charges with a hate crime. Oh, I was about to say they do not charge them niggas at all. Uh, but yeah, that's just my take on. It. I, I'm not. I'm. I, it's good that we, you know, we trying to support, and I think the Asian people do do need justice for it to be a hate crime. It's just when when it's when it's our turn, they don't. Yeah. In masses, yeah. There's there's some outliers that they fuck with us, but in masses, like Ron say, them nail shops and all that, they don't. They be uh super. I just think just wrong is wrong. And no, you absolutely. Can't, you can't and you can't go by that. Yeah, but well, but it's hard to say I love you to a nigga keep punching your face. I mean, niggas ain't saying I love you. 
I, okay, it's hard to say. All, all people saying is, hey, do right by him. Yeah, but they like don't. People, like, but, like, but, what's, the, the, what's, the, it, what's the saying? An injustice anywhere is a, what is it? Is a yeah. threat to justice, justice everywhere? everywhere? Right. But that's why niggas is, is fighting for it because niggas know how that feel. Yeah, like, exactly. Now, I understand it, and I think it's very morally correct. I'm just saying they don't they don't return that favor. They don't keep yeah, that same they, energy. Was, yeah, they might not. Ain't yeah. no might. <laughs> and, and masses as a majority, they yeah. don't be fuck with us like that. So I be kind of thinking about shit like that. Like I and I think I was telling somebody at work. Eric brought that up. Who's Eric? Uh, Latham. Where? On Twitter. Oh, I was telling somebody. That's why black people be like the successful black people. That's why they really be good at what they do. Because when you've been oppressed so long, I think you open mind and you really stand for people. You really be advocating people. You like you really be trying to do right by people. You said what group is black? Like black professionals, why they oh. be like good at their job? Because mm-hmm. they don't mm-hmm. have to hate in them like that. Like they really be trying to. Because we've been hated on them so long. Did y'all hear about uh? Should I just wait to get back? Jordan said he was gonna try. Hey, that hoodie a nice color. Now that I look at it. Hoodie a nice color. Yeah. You bought it? No, I ain't buy it. He, he had this on. Oh. Uh, recently? Uh, Damn. Nigga, yesterday. Out, oh, he wore that last night? Yeah, uh. mm. I had a perfect buzz last night. Me too. Perfect with the cigar. It was good to drive. Yeah, yeah that's just my take on it. Like, it, it, I see it. I instantly thought, like, damn, like, and it was niggas who posted like when the when the COVID shit happened, they was kicking niggas out of China. I mean, I know that's China, but they was kicking niggas out of China. Like, it's not Chinese American. I thought they was kicking everybody out. They were yeah. just black people. No, the Chinese. They was like, you African, no, be black. You can't be here. But I, no, the, how we was acting like China Chinese, virus. They was that's acting the like Chinese that government, though. No, that was like McDonald's in China. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't an official. China got. Thing. They got to fire McDonald's too. They actually cook real food. Hold on. Are you talking? They was kicking people out or kicking niggas out? Black people. They was. I don't remember that. Yeah, I'm they sure was. Too. They yeah, was sure too. Because I know where I can find a. They was shit. kicking out black people during COVID. Yes, they was kicking black people out everywhere. But I feel like they they probably just only showed us to black people. Mm. I'm sure they probably was kicking all Americans out. Mm. Mm, excuse. I thought they was kicking people out the country. Right here. Mm, excuse me. It's, it's a picture. Oh. But that's but what we are. But that's what, that's look. racist shit. I thought you were talking about during COVID. It was during COVID. You can walk in front of it. You can walk in front of it, son. <laughs> look. You can find a real article if you want. That's just a screenshot of it. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Yeah, they wouldn't like yeah, they wouldn't fuck with us. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. That's what I'm saying. So all of a sudden, we you know support Chinese. Hey, I'm all for Chinese lives. But... <laughs> he saw <all> support. <laughs> like, hold up, but we... I want to see the favor in return. When the, the next, age... when the next nigga killed yeah, by the police, yeah. but listen, I want to see some Chinese people. Just because, but, but I mean, we do see some Chinese who? people. But like you said, they don't be putting out, shit in like the like Chinese said, restaurants. Out. They don't listen. be doing no, no Black Lives Matter. And no, I've been, been to a couple because we've been real. My bad. A couple See, Chinese don't restaurants. Do that. Ooh, ooh. I didn't been to a couple Chinese restaurants with the black with the Black Lives Matter sign in the window. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We don't know that these Asian me, people was Chinese. They try to get that bread. Yeah. What? We don't know that these Asians that got killed was Chinese. Asians. Yeah, you straight. I'm sorry. Yeah, You're we right. straight don't know. Asians. I they could have been Korean. They could have been, been Vietnamese. You're right. I say Asians. Ch- I think some said Chinese. But maybe I just say Asian. Yeah, I know the prominent right. Asians in America is Vietnamese yeah, people and just Korean. Think, people just go straight to Chinese. I don't know why you think, because China is the biggest, a big country. Yeah. I straight go to Japanese when I think of Asians the most, but that's because I watch anime. Of anime. I was about to say, yeah, hey, it anime. was a white girl at my job who told me that an old white man at my job said, I don't know why the black people are mad, blah, 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 and China, China, the Chinese is treated worse than black people in America. I didn't even, I didn't even. I don't listen to old white people. Yeah. I mean, he, oh, he probably 65, 60, but I ain't even. This old white lady in my job used to always talk bad about, she used to say, my husband's not racist, but that's how you know he racist. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't like Vietnamese because he was in a uh, Vietnam war. Mm. He's talking about some, they but, were just so, they were just so, uh, so ruthless and they were just doing, the, I'm like, nigga, it was war. What I the wonder, fuck y'all he, expect? I wonder, did he like the food though? 
Oh, he probably did. <laughs> I mean, he was I in have, Vietnam. Are you on the pod? Yeah, definitely. I had some Vietnamese today. He huh. probably was fucking they went. But look, <laughs> you can't life? expect to go to war with to the a group of people. I don't give a fuck what, what race they is and expect them to go easy on it. Y'all dummies went in there and did that dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all went, and then after the, after the Vietnam War, well, y'all. I mean, he don't have nothing to do with that. Who? So that was the government. So, I mean, you can't put that on him. What? You can't put that on him. He yes, I just, can. He the one say he don't like Vietnamese people. But you was just saying that he went over there. I mean, he nigga, he didn't like, but he didn't like Vietnamese he people. He had to think that thought though, right? You can't, you it's, can, nigga. It's I don't care. I don't care who made you. Don't know what he went through over there with them. Who cares? You at war. You can't say that. Yes, you can. Because if you, if I'm at war with you, I, but I can't, I can't hate you because but you I, don't know how the regular people over there treated him. Nigga, you, know, you, you also don't. You also don't know. You also ain't letting me finish. That's what I'm saying. No, you don't know what he went through over there. Yeah, but that don't mean. You nigga, but we was at war. Though. It don't matter. Don't no. We're yes, do good. Is good. No, Will. it does you not. Do, if we beefing, which is which is which is which is true, but that's just me though. I can't expect everybody to think he don't like no Vietnamese people because what he went through in Vietnam. I understand it, but it's wrong. That's I, bullshit. I, I, I don't, it, I don't but see how wrong. you. I don't see how this not understand. Yeah, I understand it. What do you mean? Because what she said, you don't understand. Because somebody, what she you said, know, you don't understand. People not feeling. He probably got more context to the conversation than he. I've been trying to get it out, but he keep on. That y'all keep on yeah, saying he, shit. I don't know. And I and I said, if you at war with somebody, and because we can't outdo y'all. We can't fuck y'all up like y'all fucking us up. That's why y'all don't like. That's why you don't like Vietnam. Cause you didn't have to go to war, you could have went AWOL. No, he did. No, he didn't. He could have went AWOL. Well, I mean, he yeah. went to jail, went, but yeah. he could he still could have went AWOL. You sound like you sound like Kanye. You he didn't, didn't have, have to, to be do. A slave. <laughs> no, that, that's a that's a I'm, that's bullshit. I'm being funny. Hey, but speaking of, wars, I mean, and then them niggas they could have fought to get hey, out of that shit too. They just would have died. Going in the army, it's stupid. Same way I feel about this nigga going over there fighting Vietnam. And getting mad I at them. I kind of get mad mean, when I see them. getting their ass kicked. It's different now because people choose now to join the army. Yeah, I kind of feel bad. I feel bad when I don't like black people in the army. My dad was in the army. Now, let me take that back because that sounds crazy. I don't have it. But black my... people don't go to the army for what what people True. go to the army for. Yeah, if it's if it's I mean, saving your life don't. and you got to and you. I don't gotta, think I don't think majority got, of them. And you, I'm talking about now. Majority of them don't. They what? going for a check. Yeah. yeah, if you going for a check, yeah. you saving your it's saving your life. Matter of fact, matter of fact, back then. That back then, people, nah, some, a lot of people go. They still patriots of the. I country. mean, yeah, so, yeah. I, Matter of fact, back then, a lot of people used to go back then to get all the shit they didn't did yeah, over here. Yeah, that's cool. I'm cool with that, but I don't. I just don't have it in my in my heart to fight for the country that still and uh, fucks up black people. Yeah, they went for the check. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But I would hate that. Even, I would hate that you got to call like, and I really got to go that, defend this country and shit. These niggas wouldn't give a fuck about you. Hey, why the fuck would you go over there and fight up for it? No, 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 Will. Good is good. But you they said it the other day. Every wrong. It's a way. It's a way to bad. do it though. You but can go to a. Feel. You can go to a certain branch and you know who going first and who ain't. Who you would know if you even going, especially if you join the Army Reserve. It's not guaranteed you going. I mean, yeah, of course. So it's it's, it's a long shot. Matter of fact. Mm. <laughs> it is a long shot because the, they send, on, they send on what the what Marines first, and then you got people who sign up to go first. And if you just on a reserve, you just there just in case they can, they got they get oh, yeah, fucked but, up. Like and said, when last time we got fucked up in war? Rank you sign to, sign up to. You don't sign up for a rank. You earn the rank. But I'm saying you know you, what I mean. You, depending you, on what, whatever it's quadrant, even, whatever even it, no, you could be a colonel. Brent. You could be a colonel in the reserve. You, that don't mean that you still on reserve. Whatever squadrant you go out into, you can do shit. You can go into computers. You can go into the field. You can go into yeah, but it's air a, it's shit. Still a chance that like computer it's people going into war too, though. Yeah, they not may not be going. But, to like, yeah, but, saying, but, but like he was saying, it's a long shot for them to have to. Yeah, nah, they need, if you no, in the reserve, I don't mean for like to shoot. They you need computer people in the war over there for systems. Oh, yeah. and shit. like but, to hook up the yeah. systems and the yeah, but it's still people that they already got for the front lines that's already going to be doing it. You can yeah. go on a reserve for the computer shit, but it's not no guarantee you going over there. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't have enough knowledge. To I do because I was about to join, and I know people. In I'm the not Army. disagreeing with you. Yeah, I just don't have enough knowledge to engage in conversation. But shout out to all the black veterans out there. You just said you I don't just, like well, I just no, no, I don't like, I don't like if you go on because you want to fight for the country. I if you're going for the check, it. you're going to get out the hood. You're going for because you ain't got shit else going on. If you're going for the money as a job, absolutely. But in terms of the ones who 
like the other Americans who I don't go know why and, they don't and America like want to fight for this shit. I, I wouldn't be putting myself on the front line for this the country. country. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I would put myself on the front line for this country. It sounds bad. It sounds maybe I mean, if you go real, real un uh, patriot, patriot, patriot. No, because I don't think we're supposed to be patriots. So that's patriot. True. <laughs> true, true. I mean, speaking of patriots, hey man, man, these segues getting crazy. I'm every empire fall. Go, go ahead. Hey, did y'all see a uh, Eureka Eureka High School, um, which is in Rockwood School this Are year? Are they the Patriots? <laughs> no, Why but, the hell with this segment? Uh, segue because it's a similar thing. They had a uh, they had a the baseball team. They got some embroidered they hats with the Blue Lives Matter flag. Okay. And Rockwood yanked that shit. Was like, take that off. So the parents, which is good, shout out to Rockwood for that. I'm a product. With the but the parents is mad. And like out, outrage and this and that, but I'm thinking for one, as a child, right? When we was in high school, we didn't give a fuck about a lot of that shit. Yeah. So was it really them who was saying let's put it on a hat, or was it the parents or the coaches or whoever? Like as a kid, I wasn't. I mean, maybe kids uh, is more. Well, woke a, lot, a lot, a lot of them, a lot of them people white, be taught. A lot of them there. people be taught. A lot of them people be taught to know that shit. They probably little white kids be on that like, shit. Like, I, I just couldn't see it being shit. their idea that they want to put that on their hats. I can't. I could see them being back, as far as back to blue. But the part that fucked me up is then they said majority of the team wanted it. If, major, if all the team don't want it, they shouldn't have done that. Majority yeah. of the team wanted what? You just said the flag on majority the of the team wanted it. Well, that's what, uh, that's what they said. That's what they claimed. I don't believe that it was, but I'm saying I don't believe it was. That mean after the fact they wanted it, not like I wanted it was that they idea to put it on there. But then once they said majority of the team was all for it, yeah, it's all they for knew. don't mean that it was their idea. That could mean oh, the I coach was like, "Hey, let's." They, I thought you said it. was No, their I, idea. I question it. I question it. I hate that shit because they look at the news different than we do, man. They don't Absolutely. have no look empathy when they look at this shit, man. Like they're not looking at it as like a person being killed. Like if a black person get killed. They're not looking at it as all. Oh, it's a person that was killed for no reason. Right. They think it's a criminal. They already think it's a criminal. That's right. so. That's why I don't, I don't even like even trip off that shit because it's like they already gonna have preconceived notions about us in the news. Just like the media, we up. don't hear about shit that be going on in St. Charles, or St. Peter's, and shit. And it's hell of shit that be going on. People be getting killed, overdosing, well, see, I mean, drug I, I busts, all, all type of on. shit. I we don't really all kind of stuff going on over there. Man, we don't, but it don't, it don't be it don't be publicized not like, the, not like when some like side. some of the, some of the bus uh do some shit. It don't be in like in the in the like the the news news like you may see it in the newspaper. Don't nobody don't read at, like don't that. Look at the newspaper. Whatever articles on your phone. This is where you say you get articles he, to your you know phone. What he mean? <laughs> where you be seeing shit at on your phone, right? Yeah. Then that's the new newspaper. <laughs> yeah, but what, what he's saying is they might send a, sit, a notification out, but it's not actually on the news a big thing. Like right, and TV. it may and it may be like on second page or a little subheader. It don't be like the first thing. Two people shot. Right, don't be like when I go on Camo V, the first biggest thing: two men shot on, at overnight on north or north side in Adelaide. And then you scroll down a little bit. It was white woman killed in St. Charles in domestic? It don't be like the same type of shit. Like it's like That's two men, fact. two men got into an accident on West Florissant, and. One of them side swiped the other one. The nigga off the nigga who got side swiped. Well, the nigga that that side swiped the other person, and and neither one of these the identities or neither one of these guys has been. I don't know. They didn't put it. In, they didn't put it in the article. But the nigga that got side swiped told the made the dude was going to make the dude pay. He didn't like the amount he was going to pay, so he robbed him and took his car. And left his car. Nigga, how they figure out how much they was about to pay that quick? You probably said, give me 400. <laughs> Dude was like, no, I got two. No, nah, let me get that whip, nigga. He took his whip. What, and left his? Was it stolen? This happened on Adelaide, bro. I mean, this happened on, this happened on West Floors. So, I don't know. 50- like Will say, if you're going to talk, get a mic. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't seen you in a minute, so I'm going to talk some shit. But I'm just, like, damn, nigga, and it was a 2006 up, Explorer. They came up with an estimate quick. It was a 2006 yeah, Explorer. Damn. I mean, because I mean, I think the size swap it probably wasn't as bad. So you, if if it ain't, if it's like a little mark, you can be like, oh, I need six hundred, and it might only cost three or four to get fixed. Mm, give me a thousand dollars. Because it probably wouldn't, it probably wouldn't, it probably wouldn't like big damage. If it was just size swap, it's probably like a scratch. 
mm-hmm. maybe them black marks on her. Mm-hmm. Something that could be buffed out. Yeah. And the dude offered the dude offered him some money. He was like, "No, nah, I need more than that." Mm-hmm. Dude was like, "I can't give you more." Robbed him. Pulled the gun out and robbed him. Took his took his, his four. The four. one asking for money robbed or the one who couldn't pay robbed? The one who side swiped. Yeah, but which one is that? The one who asked? The one who side swiped? He robbed? No, the nigga that got side swiped robbed the other dude. Oh, so he said, give me 400. He was like, no. Nah. So then he was like, so he so robbed him took more. If I side swiped Ray, and he got oh, the car like, like damn, bro, I need this. I ain't got it. And then Ray get mad and robs me. Took my car. Yeah, but he left his side swiped car. Yeah. <laughs> And he's going to get in trouble for robbing him. But the other car that you taken was also been sideswiped. That's more understandable <laughs> than No, no, no. The car that he took was the one who sideswiped. Yeah, that, that so was... They both got that side was, swipe damage. That's more understandable, though, than the way I was thinking about it. I'm thinking... The no, it's that, not. It's dumb to, to rob somebody that just sideswiped you. I mean, I think it was dumb for either one of them to rob either one. It's only them. one person that robbed. It wasn't either one. I know, Ryan. I know. I'm saying it's I'm dumb sorry. either way. Okay. I know. I know that. That's okay, what I'm but what? So what's more understandable? <laughs> what's more understandable? No, nah, I was saying it, it's more understandable to me that the nigga that got hit and the nigga told him he didn't have no money. It's more understandable that he robbed him than I thought that you were saying the nigga hit him, and then after the nigga asked him for some money, he was like, "Nigga, no," nah, and then just robbed, then just stole the shit. Oh. That's what I, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I don't know why you thought that, but uh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> I just I just said oh. <laughs> my bad, big dog. <laughs> I thought I made it clear. Been another week of the Arch Villains podcast. I'm Will I Am Defoe, aka Big Willie Style, Ray Clay, Ryan yep. Hard Or. Gotta be in you, can't be on you. I was just going. They already know what's up. <laughs> See y'all next week.